Well, we've almost made it back from Ravenport. About a two hour drive. And we actually, we're, I think we're going to get back a lot quicker than it took us to get to Ravenport. So we're coming into, we're rolling into Clover Creek now. And so I guess this is episode number two. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this truck. So we pulled it out. It was all rusty. If you haven't seen episode number one, it was crazy. It was pretty cool. Went to a junkyard, pulled this truck out. But episode number two is where I'm going to restore this truck fully. Now, I didn't really talk. I didn't really ask you guys to put ideas, but I love when you guys put ideas in the comment section. And some guy, I think it was Super Mario 93D, the gamer, legit, no joke, that was his name. Um, he came up with an idea to turn this truck. I didn't know this, but to turn this truck into the grave digger. The reason is, I, I never, I never made the like the the comparison, or I never, I never. I never got it down that these were the same truck, but the reason is the Gravedigger was made after the 1948 Ford F100, which is this truck. So I can turn this truck into the Gravedigger. Add a huge lift kit, dude. I don't know the actual like components of it that will make it up, but I can do it. I can get it done in farm sim. And so we're gonna take her to the shop. I think the first thing is just clean the body up. I'll just get it looking restored. Then from there, you know, we're gonna have to like call a lot of different companies to get different parts, but eventually I can get this looking just like the Grave Digger. And at the end of this video, we're gonna have the Grave Digger, which is like just awesome and fantastic. So you guys enjoyed yesterday's video, episode number one, and I was like, let's just do episode number two. You guys might be wondering like, where's Repo? Where's Chow? My other series, I have a lot of different series, but that's gonna be coming probably tomorrow, most likely. So the Freightliner, love this pickup or love this love this truck it's not really pickup more of like a semi crossover i guess so up up ahead is gonna be clover creek and then to the left over there i think you can see my building roll rcc in case you guys are new that's literally my truck dealership slash custom shop slash power sports store over there and that's where i'll take it most likely that'll work good oh that was part of my repo series right there. Uh, the trucks are still there. So we're going to take a left-hand turn here. Oh, the blinkers work on the trailer. That's something I never do. Never use my blinkers enough. So we'll take a left-hand turn. We'll be pulling into RCC soon. I'm going to put this on the lift. Probably the lift in the Power Sports store. I'll probably put that on that lift. It works a little better. Clean up the rust. It, obviously, this is going to take like a couple days, a couple weeks to get this done. Clean up the rust off of this. And then from there, pull it out, drive it, make sure it drives good. I kind of hate taking like a classic truck like this and just not really wrecking it, but turning it into the grave digger kind of like ruins, ruins the whole classic look I was going to give it. But I think it'll, I think it'll be kind of, kind of be neat. So first we'll get it to good condition, basically restore it. And then we'll turn it into the grave digger. So the plan is, is it to just roll it off the truck, put it on this lift right here. If I can get inside. And they'll work on it from there. Now you guys are probably like wonder, wondering like, why are you putting on this lift? I, I like this lift better than the lift in there. Nothing wrong with that. I just like working on stuff in here a lot better. So we got to yank this baby off. There we go. Perfect. She's off. And then I'm just going to push her. Just going to push her in here. That'll work good. So Joey, my mechanic was working on it this whole time. I had him on this whole project. He told me not to take a look at it until it's done. And he says she's done now. So I'm going to pull her out. It's not the grave digger. We wanted to get it restored and see what we thought before we turn it in the grave digger. I think she's up here on the lift. Yeah, there's a couple of things he's finishing up, but he said she's ready to see. <laughs> there she is. The 1948 F100. Now, like I said before in episode number one, it was an international service truck. And so what he did is he threw the, the original logo like back on there to make it an international harvester service truck. So what I'm going to do is pull her down. And then he said she starts right up. All it was was a carburetor cleaning battery and some light engine work. And she was ready to rock and roll. And obviously change of gas and stuff like that. But it was ready to roll. He was surprised that it actually that he didn't have to do much to it. So what I'm going to do is fire her up. Sounds good too. We got dual exhaust. I don't know if Straight pipe, I don't know my exhaust terms the best. I know like drop axle exhaust, all that. Dual exhaust, like I, I how do you tell when something's straight piped? Cause like, you know, some people will say like, yeah, my diesel straight piped, but 
But then at the end, there's, you know, it, I don't think it's literally a straight pipe. I think, like, throughout it, it's, I, I honestly, that's something I don't know. And I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not afraid to admit it. But uh, sometimes you'll see, like, people will be like, yeah, my, I straight pipe my diesel. But then at the end, the exhaust will still be, like, curved, right? I'm, not, I'm seriously not trying to mess with you guys. But I always thought, like, straight pipes meant straight pipe, straight pipe all the way back. Like, you have to have a straight pipe. I, I think, that, I don't think that's what it means. I'm sorry. Some of you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm done with this dude. But here she is. And what the daytime that we're viewing this at makes this red look so much better. Something about it. I hate to like ruin this truck. Not really ruin it, but you know what I mean. Change it a lot from its classic. Look at those. Red Power International Harvester Service. Man, I hate to change this up. It's a classic truck. I feel like I want to pick up another one of the. Keep this one pick up another one of these and then turn that one into the grave digger i hate doing it with this one but take a look at a grave digger and you'll see the front end and the body is basically made after this ford the 1948 f100 i might be off on my years a little bit but it's basically made after this so we're gonna throw her on a lift a couple of months are gonna go by my mechanic's gonna have her done and she's gonna be a grave digger that i don't want know if i want to sell an rcc or what we may sell it on RCC, who knows, but we're gonna turn this thing into a grave digger. Obviously, it's gonna have to go through a lot. Basically, basically all we're keeping is the front, like, the front quarter of the truck, basically, is what we're keeping. Everybody's, everything else is getting changed. That's why I feel like we're, we're ruining the truck, because we're only taking a couple pieces from the truck and actually turning into the grave digger. But, let's see what happens. I love this truck, though. Looks clean, looks nice. Look at that. Just look at her. Sounds good. Wow. So I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna pull this back in for my mechanic to work on. Uh, we're, we'll let him pull it on the lift. We're just gonna leave it right there, and he's gonna. I'm kind of wasting a lot of money on this project too, because it's not really worth it when you think about it. We're not gonna get our money back from it, but it's something like cool for RCC to have. So I'll let him deal with that. Next time you guys see it, she'll probably be the grave digger. The 48 F100 isn't actually here. We did everything we could, but we, we ran into a ton of problems and realized we can't do a lot of the suspension work, a lot of the drivetrain work, and a lot of the tires and paint job. The paint job is what we struggled on. I was like, we started doing it, and then it was, I shouldn't say we, my mechanic started doing it, and it was just like all messed up. And so what I did is there's a local farmer who's known to build some crazy custom builds. Not, he had, doesn't have any experience with monster trucks but he's built he's built some pretty crazy stuff and so i was like take on this project and so rcc couldn't get it done and so what we're going to do is we're taking the mini kenworth little blue and we're going to head out there load her up and bring her back because the farmer texted me he was like she's done i was like send me a picture he's like no can do sir you gotta come out and see it for yourself with your real eyes so we're gonna head down there See what she sees seems like i don't know if i'll be bringing it back today if i don't like it and there's some things he has to change then i won't bring it back but i, I think it should be fine so i'm gonna take the canworth little blue this is probably one of the best semis in farming similar if you guys have it don't have it and you have pc which meaning if you have a pc you can get this actually um it's on expendables facebook page and i think it's on like mod network too i think it's on all mod pages by now i'm gonna take a left Head out to his place. This is exciting. I got this. It's been a couple months since you since we've seen it. Since I've even seen it, he's had it forever. Oh, man, one thing though for this like kind of like role play realism, just a little side note, is I wish I had seasons. So that way, like I could turn it to winter, and then like you guys would be like, yeah, it's been a couple months. Like you could see, you know, it's been a couple months. Now, not that, because like right now, none of the seasons change at all. So it looks pretty much the same. The Kenworth though, the ride, the feeling you get in the cab is for sure one of my favorite things about it. It looks good too. The colors look awesome on this. Some people aren't a big fan of this single axle. I am. It looks different. If you're not hauling heavy, it's good. I, I like it. For something like picking up a monster truck, you know, she can do her. She'll do fine. So, what you'll see over to the left is where we put, pick up our power sports inventory. And then to the right, we go a little bit past that. And then to the right... We're going to take like a mile long dirt road and then eventually it's going to take us to his farm where the grave digger should be. 
Okay, I had to throw a Yui there. I was wrong. I was totally wrong. It's not past the wholesaler right here. This is where we usually pick up like some of our power sports. Uh, but that was wrong. It was a left right here. It's this road. His house and his farm is so back that it's tough to see what road it was. I passed it. So we'll take a left here. This should be his like mile long driveway. We can pull in here. There we go. Swing wild, brother. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So follow this driveway. I don't know if that's a mile. That's probably a mile long driveway. Honestly, uh, maybe not. It's probably shorter than that. We got to follow this all the way back. Grave digger should be in one of his barns. Dude, someday, like in real life, it'd be so cool to have like, I always, I, I don't know. I'm always, it's so weird. I'm always a fan of people with like really long driveways, like just tucked back in the middle of nowhere, like mile long driveways off the road. It's kind of cool. You know, you're almost, you're, you're isolated a lot. So here we are. It was, it's kind of a rough drive over here. Again, we're, she's bouncing a little bit. We are shaking. <laughs> yeah, it's, I guess it's rough in a semi, man. So, um, I guess I don't know what, when I dropped it off, I just put it outside. So I'm going to look to, oh, there she is. The grave digger. Just to think back, I can't believe we turned this five months ago, went to a scrap yard. Bought this for $400 cash, the 48 F100. And then we turned it, we restored it, and then we decided to go transform it into the Grave Digger. This is just insane. If you know, okay, you guys can see the front end now. I never realized this till that guy said it, but you can see the front end on this. It's a 48 F100. Looks exactly the same. I never realized, like, that's where it actually came from. The rims, ugh, they're a little off. They're a little. Uh, 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 I don't know. I'm not really liking them. There's not, uh, there's not much I could do. I could maybe change the rims. We'll see. They look, I don't know, they look like too toyish. I don't know how to describe it. But as far as, man, this thing looks good. I want to fire up so bad. Let's fire her up. Oh, she sounds good. It is loud, too. Oh, dude. I feel like the only thing is, like, I'm having, like, regrets about doing this because the 48 f100 looks so nice and then we just took in this but this is sick this is sick i want to i still want to find another 48 f100 restore it and keep it to like its original and not turn it into a grave digger someday i do want to drive this thing but we're going to take her back to the shop i don't want to like tear up his farm we'll take her back to the shop and then i'll drive it from there oh <laughs> the steering is a little tight dude Oh my gosh. I don't think you want to be taking this thing down the road. Uh, I really want to take you down this road. Okay, you know what? His road is pretty rough. I'm just going to slowly, just slowly break her in. I'm sure he's driven it plenty. I'm just going to test the suspension. See what she's like. It's basically a whole new vehicle too. Like, we didn't use many parts at all. We pretty much used like the body panel, if that. Okay, we're going to get on her a little more. Hit 45. Or I don't want to run this thing RPMs crazy high because she's probably just getting broken in and it's definitely not the same engine dude Okay We're gonna turn around. There's no way I'm taking this thing down the road. It's not street legal I wonder if I can put a license on it though. It'd be kind of cool I'm gonna load her up on the semi and then we'll take her back to RCC and I've got some piles That I think will be really good to test out the grave digger. We got bad to the bone team modding. Oh I don't really like how it has a hitch on it though. Like it's, I don't know, the hitch kind of, you know, I don't need a hitch on this. You know what? Maybe if I want to do some like poles or something, you know, pulling uh, a sled or something behind it, might not be bad. Like a, you know, a weight sled, like, yeah, not like a snow sled, but yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll work good, I guess. So I'm going to fire up the Kenworth. We're going to detach this. Nope. There we go. Detach that and we should, you know what, dude? No, you know what I'm doing? It's the grave digger and I think the trailer can support it. Ah, uh, you know, I kind of want to just drive it up on the backside. <laughs> uh, I don't really care if I wreck my trailer at all, but this is really going to test the grave digger already. I'm going to see if we can climb this. Okay, this isn't, this isn't right. Come on, get up there. Okay, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I don't want to wreck it too bad. I, I thought the trailer would be fine, but that's going to turn out kind of bad. So I'm going to detach that, 
and then we'll just pull the grave digger. We'll just back the grave digger right up on there. We should be good. Oh, dude, this thing barely fits. See, I was thinking about bringing like a pickup truck with a 40 foot trailer. I should not have, definitely should not have done that. We'll just pull it right here. You know what I'm really curious of now? In real life, what do they haul the grave digger and monster trucks with? Maybe they're not as wide, but let, let's say let's say this is like exactly as it is in real life, right? Think about this. I don't think they would haul them with a open open trailer. Like, there's no way they go down the road like this. I'm assuming they have an enclosed trailer to move them from like stadium to stadium. But man, if you have an enclosed trailer, think about how wide that trailer has to be. You're taking up. I, I guess it's just a wide load load going down the interstate. Same as like when you see like big windmills or you know a crazy wide load going down the interstate but i need after right after this i'm going to look up a picture of what they haul like the grave digger and other monster trucks with maybe the grave digger in like real life isn't as wide as this one in farm sim though oh gosh we're stuck oh <laughs> uh shoot so the trailer's bottoming out right now on its driveway it's just this little slope too not much there we go, we got out of it, and maybe, dude, this grave digger kind of weighs a lot. You can see those semi, the, that rear axle, it's just squatting. Those tires have a lot of weight on them, and I have the semi, like, towards the back of the trailer, too. Oh, dude. Okay, so I'm going to get this back here, and now, we, at RCC, we had an off-road course, but I don't have that there now. We kind of demolished it, so I'm going to, I'll have to figure out what we can really test this on. Maybe this calls for an off-road course, like a true good monster jam off-road course i could you know what i could build some really good some really good like dirt jumps for this where i could do where i could try to land like a backflip that'd actually be really sweet i want to try this this episode actually it's like my semi truck is having the hiccups right now what is this dude i wonder what this is though I, i'm assuming it's something from the trailer it must have too much weight on the rear or something look at my dude <laughs> he's just bouncing every time it does that <laughs> dude that's so realistic though Look at that bounce going on him. That man, he's like getting bucked around in there. Oh, oh shoot. Oh gosh. Okay, I better slow her down. We have her on cruise control right now. Holy crap, dude. This is funny. Look at him. Or I guess that's me, but look at me. Oh gosh, dude. It's so funny looking at the... Oh, I don't know why this is funny, but just looking at him getting bounced around in there is hilarious. I love when he gets a shot from the side too. It's funny. Oh gosh. Okay, so here we are, first person. This is the view you get. It's like, well, it's like cars are running into you like all over the place. Oh shoot! Gosh darn it, lady. What the heck? Okay, we're gonna take a right-hand turn here, and then pull in here. Man, people of Clover Creek are just insane, dude. As I'm driving through with a monster truck right down the middle of town, I say that. Huh. So I have to yet figure out where I'm gonna put the monster truck. Now, it definitely deserves the top spot, which could be where that 2020 Chevy 2500 is, just right out front there. Or it could be where the 2019 Chevy 4500 is with that camper back there, right on that hill. Because that would be kind of cool to, you know, put the uh, Grave Digger right up there. I wish, I kind of like wish I could somehow show my customers, like, what we turn this truck into. I almost wish we had the rusty... 48 f100 side by side and be like we took this truck turned it into this truck along with you know the farmer's help over there but that'd be kind of cool to show off i feel like so this time i'm i'm gonna drive it off the back end now that we're up on the trailer we're just gonna drive her off the back end and i think i'm gonna just just for some quick giggles make a little ramp and see if we can't land a backflip or something like that on rcc i don't know if we can do like almost like Almost like, see, see, this. like, I want to hit that right there. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how these guys do it. But I just like to see what happens with this. Okay, so I've climbed this, but I'm not going to get enough speed to actually. We're going to back up off of here. There we go. Slow. Okay, we got to go forward a little bit. Now back. Come on. Come on. I think our hitch might be bottom. Okay, there we are. Perfect. It can climb pretty much anything. It seems like. Watch out, birdie. We'll hit this a little bit. Oh, that was pretty smooth. Okay. Okay. Let's hit that with a little more speed. I could make like a little jump. Now, okay, I do have some stumps over there. We can go over some stumps. Those are simple. Any truck can pretty much go over those stumps. And then I have a tiny little jump back there from the old off-road course that we can try. Here we go. 
Give her a little juice. Smooth. That was smooth. I don't want to hit it too fast. I don't want to ruin this thing too bad. So here's some stumps. Nothing big. Great. Oh, okay. Grave digger, she's popping up over him. Oh gosh. We, oh, dude, that looked like such a such a glitch on that wheel once he got up there. Come on. Okay, so I got this little jump here. This is so simple to hit. There we go, we made it over there. That's really simple. But what I wanna do is make a little, I wanna see if I can't make just a little quick jump here. It's not gonna be like a full blown, like crazy good course, but I wanna see if I can just, just make a nice little backflip jump type thing here. I don't know if it's gonna work or what. Maybe I should probably make it out here. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I don't know what's gonna happen. Heck, I haven't even thought about the backflip, how it's going to work. So I think I'm going to coast in here. And I went to motocross, uh, not motocross. I, I guess I went to supercross when I was a kid a lot. But I also went to a couple of monster jams. And I'm trying to think of the like how it's going to work. I'm going to slow and then just pin it right up here. And this is, it's probably not going to work because I need it to almost like be straight up. And then just pin it and it's probably not going to land a backflip. What if it like lands a backflip, just sits right up here. That'd be sick, but... I don't know if I can do it. Here goes it. If it screws up horrible, I'm not even gonna cut this out. We're just gonna see what the, I don't know if I need more speed or what. Here we go. Yeah, I definitely need more speed. Okay, I'm going full throttle here. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know what? That was kind of neat. That was kind of cool. What I'm gonna do is, it's gonna be a smooth as heck ramp. You guys saw how it landed. I'm just gonna edit the backside, and make like almost like a, so basically what it did right there so it went straight up and then went straight down and it worked it, dude it's it's gonna be smooth if i can just edit this backside here okay it's not perfect let's see how she does i don't know what speed i was hitting it at it's somewhat smooth this is like i could definitely make a track out of this though like with the landscape tool you can pretty much do anything it seems like okay let's hit it oh shoot i went like underneath it <laughs> okay i don't know where i started at did i start here i think i started here here we go okay Go here, give her full throttle. Here we go. Okay, a little too far, but that was sick. That was good, that was good. Okay, what speed was I at? I don't know what speed I was at. I'm gonna try that again, slower, because you guys saw what happened there. Okay, here we go, this is gonna be kind of slow. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was fairly smooth. We're not getting crazy air, but that was kind of smooth. Okay, let me try one more time. A little more gas. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh, Grave Digger just takes her out. Okay, here we go. Give her a juice. Oh, that was smooth, dude. That was smooth. Wow. The transformation, 48 F100, all the way to a Grave Digger, $500 turned into, a, I can't even imagine how much this thing actually goes for. Not to mention the brand name behind the Grave Digger. Let's say this is the only one. Holy crap, people would pay millions for this thing. Um, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, I said that you hit the like button. If you didn't, feel free to hit the dislike button or leave me a recommendation down in the comment section how to improve on these videos. They're kind of almost turned into like a, a role play too. So let me know how I can improve on that. So thanks for watching guys and hopefully you enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks guys.